morning and welcome to vlogmas day three now i do appreciate i don't look my best but if we're gonna do this whole vlogmas thing for 24 days straight I cannot pretend that I look put together all the time because 90% of the time I look like this. Um, my hair is like a bit of a mess, a little bit greasy. Spots are all out and I'm in my PJ still. <laughs> I've been editing um, today's Vlogmas episode from yesterday. This morning I've been up since like seven, editing that. I've just got a few more finishing touches to do and then that's done. So I've just quickly come in to do my skincare. Oh, and look. These are new pyjamas from Lounge Underwear. I work with them on Instagram, so they sent them to me. And they're really, really, really nice. They're like um, a pink metallic-y, like a pale pink metallic. And yeah, they're just like a button top and then um, like elastic waist bottoms that go all the way down. And they're really nice. So I thought I'd just pop them on this morning. Um, and yeah, I'm going to quickly do my skincare. So I thought I would just show you the few products that I'm going to use. So this is what I'm working with. So I will use the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish, which is my absolute favorite like um, beauty skincare product. Then I will just tone using the Body Shop Soft pe uh, Petal Soft Gel Toner. And then I will moisturize with my Elizabeth Arden SPF, um, Elizabeth Arden Flawless Future uh, Moisturizer. It's got SPF 30 in it, so I always use that as my day cream. And then I will use um, some of this Glossier Mango. Do you know what I mean? What is my, honestly, this camera's useless. Um, the Mango Balm I bought yesterday because my lips are so, so dry, you guys, from just being out like in the cold yesterday. Um, They've just got so dry, so yeah, I'm just gonna slather my lips in that. And then I'm not gonna get ready yet because I'm doing a like a sleep walk tonight, or like a night walk. I can't remember what, what they call it, a sleep walk or a night walk. And it's basically to raise money for the homeless. Um, so I'm doing a 10K walk around London at about seven o'clock tonight. Um, so obviously it will be dark and cold. And I guess, yeah, it's just to, it's just like, you know, to raise money. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that tonight, so obviously I'm going to bring you guys with me, but I'm probably not going to put too much makeup on for it. I mean, I will put a little bit on just because my skin is so bad, um, and I just, I, I just feel really insecure going out without makeup on, which is really annoying because it's never really been something that I've ever felt. Like, I've always been really super confident, um, with, like, bare skin, but because my skin is really playing up at the moment... I'm just a little bit on the insecure side without makeup so I will probably put like a little bit on maybe just like tinted moisturizer and a bit of concealer or something um but yeah anyway I'm gonna quickly do my skincare I will speak to you guys about the night walk a little bit more later but I'm gonna quickly do my skincare and then open my advent calendar <laughs> literally right in the lens there okay so skincare is done do you know what i do really like my skincare routine it's very much um like less is more so i literally just cleanse tone i mean this toner i'm not sure how much i rate it it's one of them like i don't know if it makes a difference i don't know if it does anything it's one of them steps that i'm a bit like does it do anything i'm not really sure by the way I love this so much. I'm a little bit gutted that I didn't buy more. Um, I mean, I know the pop-up's still there till February, so I can always go back and grab more, but this is so nice. I love it so much. Um, super hydrating, it smells like a dream. Um, but yeah, less is more for me with skincare. I always um, have been a bit like that, but I was literally just looking at my skin yesterday and I was gonna say to myself, self um that my skin had cleared up loads and i was like yesterday i was like oh it's looking okay like it's not looking as bad um and then literally just yesterday being out i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i wore foundation like two days in a row or something um i literally have just broken out in like two more spots there one more there 
and I get a few on my neck and stuff as well. It's just so annoying. Like, I don't know what it is. I've been to the doctors. I actually have got like an acne, like a mild acne cream, but it makes my skin so dry. And then anything I put on it, like moisturizer or anything, it stings to the point where it's actually like quite painful. So I just don't know. Also, I've still got that label on because they only just put these on this morning. So yeah, a bit of a shame, but what can you do? Mum, do you want to open our advent calendars? Are you not ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on then, check. Do you like my new PJs? Oh. These are from Lounge. Their lounge is new. Oh, nice. Well, actually, I don't think they're out yet. Lovely. I don't know the line on. Oh, they're like no. Stuff. They're really nice. It says like lounge all the way down. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah. So just... How lovely. How lovely. Very nice. Very lovely. Nice, hey. Mm. Shall we? Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. I'll vlog a bit today. Will you? Mum's, <laughs> Mum's going out for lunch with a with a friend. Oh, it's a bit it's very young. Mum's going out for lunch with a friend, so I'm not going to be with her for a bit, so she's going to... Um, you look very glamorous. She's going to try and vlog. Mm. Yeah, we both look <laughs> really glamorous. <laughs> um, let's put that there. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Honestly, I don't know what's going on at the moment, but we seem to be having like a really nice December. Cold, but lovely. Wow, I look a little bit of a stain. What did you have yesterday? I had a, it was like um, this, one of these chocolates, oh. yeah. Oh, we have, I think we've got the same. Mm. I reckon they're the same. Yeah, so. but you've got a teddy at the end and I've got a big one of those, I guess. It's not as thick, so yours are bigger. No, that's your 24 there. Oh yeah. Mine's a Santa. It's a Santa look, probably. Yeah. yeah. Mine yesterday was a... There, like that. Oh, sweet. Three. There it is. Oh, it's going to be a ball. I can tell by the size what they're going to be. Yeah, yeah. mine's going to be a ball as well, I think. I got another little. Oh no, mine's another one of those. Mine's another little slab. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Again, you missed your mouth yes last time. No, Take one. Not man. Cute though, aren't they? Look. Yeah. And the same teddies look, but it's all lint, I guess. It's all lint, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Great. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> A bit out of tune. <laughs> bit out of tune. Not to worry. Mm. Mm. I haven't even had breakfast yet. No, I have. What did you have? I had granola, coconut yogurt, and a banana. Le banana. <laughs> Le banana. Ow! <laughs> That's good, the life I'm in. I'm just gonna go again. Like champagne, it's never too early for chocolate. Never. <laughs> Literally never. Okay. okay, I need to get ready. What time are you leaving? Can I borrow your camel coat? Yep. Thank you. Um, I'm leaving around 11, so I better get a wiggle on. Better get a wiggle on. I need to cut these labels out. Outfit of the day by mother. Outfit of the day. <laughs> and I don't even ask what's happened to my hair. What? It looks nice. Oh, thank you. Right, Levi jeans. Yeah. Levi jeans. I think they're 74s, I think. Okay. Uh, which are really comfy. M&S cashmere roll neck sweater, mm -hmm. which goes in the washing machine. Perfect. And... Um, Amy's camel coat. <laughs> Amy's camel coat. I saw it first. I saw it first. Although they don't do it anymore, which is really annoying because people ask me about it all the time. And the scarf is uh, Paradise Boutique, which is a boutique in East Mosley, is online. Um, okay. Yeah. And hat. By Kingston Market. Cute. <laughs> so you're going to go for lunch. You're going to have your appointment. Go yeah, for lunch. Go for lunch to Chuck's. In Kensington. Chucks in Kensington, okay. And then maybe I'll message you. I mean, yeah. let me know on your time. It might be that you want to come back before I come in or... Yeah. I don't know. Well, lunch is booked for two, so... Okay. Um, you know, we could be there till a few hours, obviously. Well, you could be. I'm going to set my keys. Oh, oh. 
obvs. I'm gonna go, otherwise I'm not gonna get that tray. I'm not gonna get it anyway now. It's 20 past, I won't get those in that time. Well, it might be delayed, so... Is it at 36? Hmm? Is it at 36? 20 past it is. Is it 20 past and what's the time now? I don't know. Um, it is time to go. 11, 11. You've got nine minutes, you can make that. Right, I'm going. Just had a little package um, arrive, so I thought I would really quickly show you what's in it, although I can't show you everything because some bits are Christmas presents. What is that? I can't remember what I ordered, you know. Okay, I just had to get some scissors. So, I ordered the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place um, foundation because I asked on my Instagram um, what foundation you guys wear and so many of you um, suggested this and said it was like your favorite. So I bought that, I got it in shade, um, there we go, 2W0, warm vanilla, and I have no idea, I just guessed, but I will test that out. I'm going out on Friday night to a birthday meal. So I will test it out on Friday night for you guys. So that was from Look Fantastic, by the way, the Estee Lauder double wear. And then I bought these, which, <laughs> throw that on the floor so I bought these because they just looked so cute let me see if I can do this with one hand which I literally can't okay eee, so I bought these six Christmas crackers from look fantastic because I just thought they were a little bit different and they were just nice to have um, on Christmas or even like Christmas Eve as like just a nicer sort of um, like cracker for us to have and inside is, oh my God, I'm useless at this. Oh, oh, okay. It literally doesn't tell you, but um, inside is like really good stuff. Let me quickly see if I can find it on, um, see if I can find it on here. So they're meant to be 30 pounds, but with the Black Friday sales, I think they were, um, I think that's what I got them for as well, 21 pounds. And they have inside, so it says worth over 60 pounds. So I just thought it was really good for 21 pounds. And they have things in, they've got the Illamasqua Mini Hydra Veil, which I have and I love. Um, aromatherapy bath shower oil, Elemis night cream, um, botanical hand cream, Emma Hardy cleansing bar, um, just like loads of really nice stuff. So yeah, I thought for £21 that would be like a little cute alternative to just like your standard crackers and like whether we have them on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. But yeah, so I bought that and that and then I did buy some other stuff but <laughs> they're presents for people so I can't show you. Hello. Finally made myself some breakfast. I also had to put my dressing gown back on because I was a little bit on the nips side. I have made myself some peanut butter on French bread because we had some French bread left over from um, when we did the, the camembert and some banana because I don't know about you guys but personally I think peanut butter and banana go so so well together so I'm just having a spot of that for Bracky. Um, and then I'm just gonna finish off the edit for today's Vlogmas. Um, just like get it all uploaded with thumbnail and stuff like that. And I'm gonna get ready and then possibly go and meet mum in London for a bit before um, I do my sleepwalk tonight. Alrighty, so I'm feeling a little bit more fresh than I was earlier. I had a shower, I didn't wash my hair, but I just gave it like a small little blow dry just with like my roller brush and obviously a hair dryer just so it looked like soft. Um, and I've got changed. I will show you what I'm going to wear later or in a bit just before I go out um, because obviously I'm doing my walk. So, I mean, it's not a fashion show, but I'll still show you what I'm wearing. Um, and I've just done like a small little bit of um, my face. I don't know where the best lighting is. Um, I just did, I put on the Future Dew by Glossier and yeah, it's nice. I mean, I can't really tell. I think I'll be able to tell more if I've put like loads of makeup on and stuff and like see how it sits on my face and stuff like that. But I have got it on. I put a tiny bit of tinted moisturizer on around my chin, around my breakouts, on my nose. Cause yesterday my nose went so red when I was cold. Um, 
And then I put a tiny bit of concealer on my breakouts, on my nose and just under my eyes. And then I did some powder and I did a light dusting of bronzer. And then I put some uh, Benefit Give Me Brow, like a brow gel or whatever it is on my brows. I didn't fill them in though. And no mascara. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm gonna do. Oh, and um, the Mango Glossier lip balm, which I'm obsessed with. I'm so gutted I didn't buy more. I know I've said that already, but um, yeah. So that's me for now. I'm just gonna quickly have a spritz of the house, like tidy up. Um, and then I'm gonna text mom, see where she is and see what she fancies because I feel like I'm gonna be dressed to go for my walk when I go into London. So I don't know what she wants to do, but I'm gonna look like a bit of a lunatic. So I'm gonna text her, see what she fancies and then I'll keep you guys updated with what I'm doing. There's a salad that looks rather nice. Sounds Let's rather do it. nice. The um, Mediterranean. No. Cobb salad. It's the, yes. Where yeah. is it? I can't see it. It's like the chips cob oh yes, salad. that one. Lovely. Yeah. Let's go for that. That sounds really nice, doesn't it? So, would you like a uh, chicken or smoked salmon? Ooh. I'm. I'm easy. I'm so easy. <laughs> I'm so easy for that. Chicken? We'll do, yeah, let's do chicken. Let's do chicken cob salad and then a pizza or a pasta? A pasta. pasta and the seafood pasta. Yeah. As the main. Yeah. And then. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. So we're sitting here. We're on the old Brompton mode, are we? Yes. At Chuck's outside in December because we have fire and blankets, don't we? Nice blankets. Blankets. <laughs> so I just had my Fendi package arrive. Um, I bought some trainers on Black Friday, although I didn't get any discount on them, so I could have bought them anytime. But basically I've been wanting some like fashion trainers for a really long time because I don't really have any shoes I can just wear out on like a normal day that are just like casual but smart um, because I always wear boots and they always have heels and so I don't really have like just a normal pair of shoes. So I was like I want some fashion trainers so I picked some from Fendi and I thought we could open it now together just in case anyone was interested to see what they're like and I'll try them on and stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to open them. Um... I was going to film it for Instagram, for Instagram stories, but I think I'll just try to not rip the tissue. And then maybe I can do both. Ah, oh, ripped it, ripped it already. <laughs> what a disaster. Okie doke. I like the packaging. I like the colour and stuff. It's really nice, like, packaging. So I've got a little dust bag. That's a really nice dust bag, actually. Quite a bit. Oh yeah, two, one for each shoe. Okay. And then we got the trainers. I went for my usual size. I went for a size four. So it was like a 37, because I think they're from Italy. I feel like all designer brands are from Italy. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to try them on. I'll try them on quickly for you now, actually. Here they are on. I would say they fit um, pretty true to size. But my toe is like here. So I reckon if you want to size down like half a size, you could. But I would probably, I probably wouldn't because I would like to wear like thick socks with them or whatever. But yeah, I do have a little bit of room. I think I like them. I mean, I'm not a massive trainer person anyway. As I said, I normally wear like boots or like loafers in the summer um, or just like heels. But. I do need something more casual just to be able to wear, like, just to literally walk, go out or walk around or whatever, that I just don't need to wear heels to. Um, so I think I like them. I like that they're very subtle, um, very subtly designer with, like, the small, like, Fendi print there and there. But then other than that, they're very, like, minimalist and just very sort of, like, plain. Um, so I think I like them. Let me know what you guys think, because, I mean, they weren't cheap. They were around about the 500 mark, maybe a tiny bit more, 550 or something. Um, 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think, but I keep kicking my tree. We need to get lights for this, by the way. We still haven't um, got lights, but it's dropped really nicely and it looks so cute. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about the trainers. So this is a seafood pasta, linguine, which looks absolutely incredible. This is a cob salad. Zucchini fritti, fritte. And what are the balls? Truffle arancini. Truffle arancini. This is like prosciutto. aged prosciutto with parmesan shavings and seared tuna. And it all looks absolutely incredible. I mean, this particularly. I might not let Claire have any, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little bit later and I never actually went and met mum um, it, like earlier in London before my walk just because I ended up doing like a few emails and a few like admin -y bits that I had to catch up on and I just thought there was no point in me going in to meet her because she was with a friend and having lunch and stuff so I was like actually it would be more beneficial for me to just stay here and do this. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to head to London, well, to head to get on the train, to go to London to do my walk. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. Um, I'm not leaving my hair down like this. I'm going to put this hat on with my hair like tucked up. Um, I've got a big black hoodie on. <laughs> I'm wearing all black. I literally look like a ninja. I've got a big black hoodie on. This is just from I saw it first. Then I have underneath a black roll neck which is from Zara you can see that coming up here that's just to like keep my neck warm as well then underneath that I have a big thick um this is like the camo crop top from Gymshark it's like a gym top and then underneath that I do have like a little bralette then I've just got some Gymshark leggings on I don't know whether to put anything on top of these I don't think I will the only thing I could put on top of them is like trackies which would make me slightly warmer but I don't know. I don't want to get to the point where I'm like, not sweating, but you know when you just feel like you're wearing too many layers? Because although it's going to be cold, we are going to be walking. So like you do get a little bit warmer when you walk. Anyway, leggings. And then I'm going to put on a big scarf, a big aviator jacket, Timberlands, and like a couple of layers of socks. Um, and then I think I'll be fine in that. I mean, I was out last night and it was quite cold. Um, but I didn't have half as many layers on and I, I wasn't really like walking, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, just going to quickly shove everything on and then I'll probably speak to you when I'm there or when I'm in Waterloo. I'm going to meet my friend Jess, so yeah. A couple of glasses of wine later, we're on to coffee and it's getting dark but, and we're sitting outside still in December. It's really lovely sitting outside, but we have got a heater look. Ooh. You guys, I forgot my bloody spare battery and people are staring at me as if I'm about to rob them literally everywhere. So I'm probably going to have to film a lot on my phone so I'm really sorry. But I'm just going to meet Jess. My battery is flashing at me, I'm so annoyed. Jess said she's by the big tree but how am I going to find her? What's going on? I don't know what's happening but I don't know where she is. about 7k in aren't we oh, we're so far in <laughs> we've got oh. about 3k left we can do this we can do this let's go hey you guys i just got back from my walk oh my gosh got my spare camera because obviously my spare camera i didn't get my spare camera my spare battery for my camera um because obviously i'm a donut and I knew my battery was on red before I left the house and I meant to grab the spare battery and I totally forgot. And then obviously while I was out, the battery died. So I literally couldn't film any of the walk. But if I showed you my feet, you would believe that I just walked 11K because honestly, it was so much harder than I thought. Like after 6K, I was like, this is easy. Like what's everyone going on about? But, oh, just that extra little bit, like my feet kill. And also it was meant to be 10K, but it was 11K. <laughs> um, and that 1K made all the difference. Honestly, my feet are so swollen. Like they're literally bright red, they're killing me. I wasn't cold though. 
pack it wasn't cold because i had so many layers on i put so many layer layers on after i showed you i put on this did i show you this hoodie and then my scarf my coat and they also gave us a scarf as well um to take with us which is this so i did the walk with um a charity called shelter that my friend ella works for that's why i did it basically and it was to raise money for the homeless so um basically you paid 15 pounds to do the walk and then you had to raise 80 pounds and i think i raised 94 pounds but it's still going so i'll put my just giving link in the description just in case any of you um would like to donate to um help out the homeless this christmas uh even if it's like a pound or two pounds literally anything will make um all the difference they've actually raised over five hundred thousand pounds from this walk which is incredible let me show you so this is the walk that we did so we started here in waterloo and we walked over westminster bridge across the river and we walked all the way around i ended up back at tiffany's where i was yesterday um the ice rink and we walked all the way around there all the way around here to tower bridge crossed back over the river over tower bridge and walked all the way back basically the exact same way down the river and back to waterloo and that was 11k because that's the 10k mark and me and jess we were looking at the map and we were like hold on that's the 10k mark and we've got to get back to there so that's definitely 11k so they conned us out of a k there but um it's fine not to worry but yeah look it says in here um this wasn't just a walk this was a 10k fight against homelessness um and tonight you've helped raise a total of five hundred thousand pounds so yeah i thought that was amazing and about three thousand five hundred people um crossed the finish line and made it back tonight so that's literally amazing so yes if you would like to donate anything even just one pound or two pounds um or whatever it is that you can afford i will pop my just giving link down below and yeah i would very very much appreciate it because i can't lie like it was hard like i said it wasn't cold like i had so many layers on it wasn't cold but it was just like a lot and my feet are honestly killing me i wore my timberlands and i thought they were meant to be like walking shoes but honestly <laughs> my feet kill they're like bright red um but yeah i'm really like i'm just really happy and i'm really proud of myself because i've wanted to do like a charity like walk or like marathon or like something like that for a while so i'm really glad that i did it and me and jess just had like we just like gossiped and chatted the whole time really and to be fair it did go quite quickly but it was definitely hard work. So thank you very much if you do want to donate. Thank you very much if you have donated already or if you do donate, um, I really appreciate it. And I'm sure all of the homeless people will appreciate it. We actually walked past a um, like a food bank where they were giving out food tonight to the homeless people and the queue was so long. And as we were walking, it just made us realize even more that like the homelessness is like a really big issue and um, it was cold out tonight when we got off the train after we did the walk and we got on the train we sat on the train for half an hour where i took all my coats off when i put everything back on i got off the train i realized how cold it was like it was freezing there's frost all over everyone's driveways like it's so cold and i didn't realize when we were walking because obviously we were walking it was quite warm um when we were walking but like it's freezing outside and people have to sleep out there and stuff so yeah basically <laughs> the moral of the story is if you can don donate anything then that would be great but um what's i gonna say oh, i don't know i'm quite tired it's about 11 o'clock i need to go to bed because i need to get up in the morning to edit this and then me and mum are going to get our christmas tree boop, boop. so that'll be in tomorrow's vlog and i'm going to a river island event with my friend lauren i think it's like their christmas party so that will be in tomorrow's vlog and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this um episode i'm really gutted that i didn't get to film more of the walk although we were just like gossiping and stuff so i probably wouldn't have been able to film a lot of it um but yeah i am a little bit gutted that i forgot to take my stupid camera battery out with me but yeah anyway thanks so much for watching and i'm gonna hit the sack get up edit this and then i'll see you guys in the morning